it drives pretty good it goes down the freeway real good it's very dependable uh, a little bit of a rough ride I mean I'm riding on uh, bias ply uh, tires old style tires Firestone tires and uh, I really enjoy riding it it's uh, kind of like uh, riding a little go-kart it's uh, it moves along pretty good uh, it only weighs 2,000 pounds and with the 283 engine uh, it's all the horsepower you need. It goes along pretty good. This is uh, Renato Cardoni out of Lake Elsinore, California. And this is my 1929 Model A hot rod pickup. It's a 1929 Model A Ford pickup body and frame. The engine and trans came from a 1963 Chevy Impala. It's a 283 engine with a power glide transmission. This is my uh, first hot rod. It took me eight months to build it. I did it with a simple MIG welder and a grinder. I got a lot of good deals on the parts. I got them through Craigslist, swap meets, yard sales. I found this body in the recycler for $1,800 and uh, it came with a hood and fenders. All the parts that I didn't use, I traded off to fund some of the other parts. It cost me $5,000 to build this whole truck here in eight months. I'm running 1940 Ford front brakes with, uh, I got the round back spindles. The axle is a Model A stock straight axle. The front spring is a reverse eye leaf spring and I have the frame set up as a suicide front perch. The uh, spindles are uh, installed uh, backwards so that the uh, tie rod is up front. The headlights are BLC 682J. I got a good deal on these headlights at a yard sale for 10 bucks. And the radiator is a mid-60s Mustang radiator. It's a 29 grill shell that came with the body. I had to cut a couple inches out of the grill shell. The uh, radiator cap is a 1928 Stutz uh, ornament. I'm running the Model A wishbones. I just put a, uh, chopped them and put a bung and, uh, and uh, mounted them to the side of the frame. The Model A frame is boxed all boxed all the way down to the back. Uh, I made these motor mounts. These are small Pete and Jake's uh, hot rod uh, shocks. I made the mount for them and hung them off of the wishbone. And I made these headers. Each pipe has a baffle in it that I made. It's a small tube with a washer welded on the end and I got a bunch of holes in that tube. They're about three inches long inside these pipes. Uh, tone it down a little bit because uh, it was too loud when it was straight pipe. The engine, uh, I used all the original uh, engine parts, the stock carburetor, the intake manifold, even the points distributor. The carb is just the stock two barrel Rochester carb. I'm running the original uh, valve covers on it. Uh, the patina on the valve cover is the original patina. I rubbed down the uh, paint with some lacquer thinner and a rag to give it that old look. These wheels I scored, they're mid-30s uh, wheels. Uh, I bought them with the hubcaps and the paint. I bought all these wheels for uh, 200 bucks. Uh, I had to buy new tires. They're uh, Firestone uh, 616 tires. They're the same size all the way around. 
I got the body in Nuevo and uh, this is the natural patina of the body. It's got some rot down below but I decided to leave it. I think it looks cool. Uh, I chopped the top of the body uh, of the cab uh, four inches and I was ca careful to cut it. I didn't want to weld it up and uh, beat on it. I wanted to keep this natural patina so I decided to just tack it. This is where I chopped the uh, back of the cab and I just carefully uh, cut it as clean as I can and I just tacked it carefully. Those tacks have been on there a long time and uh, I didn't want to ruin the patina of the body. I just wanted to uh, leave the rust so I just tacked it. The cab is channeled four inches over the frame. When I chopped the uh, windshield uh, it's still functional. You could still fold it out. My doors are chopped up here four inches and uh, I just rusted up what I had chopped out to keep that patina. I'm still running the original Model A gas tank. I was lucky it was in good shape. There's no rust in there so I'm still running it. I tried to use as much uh, Model A parts that I had, whatever I had I used. The uh, steering column and the steering wheel is uh, stock Model A from 1929. E-brake is from an old uh, 50's uh, Chevy truck. Gear shifter, I used the gear shifter from Model A, mounted an old spark plug on it. The uh, pedals are Model A pedals that I chopped and bend and uh, torched and did whatever I can to use them. I think they look really cool and uh, just trying to use uh, everything that I had. The uh, tunnel is an ammo box that I uh, sectioned and cut down. The seats I made, just trying to get a, a bomber style seat put some rivets in it, uh, pretty simple seats to hold me in place there. The dash is uh, pretty much Model A, uh, using even the original uh, Model A gas gauge. I'm running a uh, cowl steering. The steering gearbox came from a mid-70s BMW uh, 2002 model. That's a mid-70s uh, BMW uh, gearbox. I'm using the pitman arm and the, uh, the gearbox is a small uh, aluminum gearbox that works great. It works out pretty good. It's a stock Model A bed that I chopped down 14 inches. I chopped it right here in the center. The uh, floor back here, I utilized the running board material and put it in here for the uh, bottom of the bed. It's got the original tailgate. Uh, this is the patina that was on the, uh, the bed. It was pretty, the uh, bed itself was pretty banged up. I had to straighten it out and uh, the Chevy rear end came with these uh, mounts here for a four link and what I did was I had some Model A wishbones left over so I utilized them here to make up my four link in the back and uh, the rear end is a uh, Chevy 10 bolt rear end about a mid 80s uh, rear end the drive shaft I got from Speedway uh, you could see where I cut out the back side of the cab so that the dirt drive shaft can go tunnel its way through the uh, cab there. Each bracket I cut out with just a simple grinder, four and a half inch uh, handheld grinder. All the welds are all done from uh, just a small uh, MIG weld flux core. The uh, tail lights are uh, the stock Model A uh, tail lights, but they're repops. 
the uh, bracket to the tail light. Uh, I just mounted it differently since there's no uh, fenders. Just kept it clean. <laughs> 